So all over the world, during this COVID-19 pandemic, disposable masks are being worn, and people are wearing gloves, and people are using face shields, and they're, they're doing this to keep themselves safe. But actually, these materials are causing a large problem. You see, these materials are what we call PPE. That's personal protective equipment. That's anything that like a doctor would wear to keep them from being sick. But now everyone's wearing them all over the world. And this PPE is found littering the streets and, and found uh, harmful plastic being put into landfills and sewage systems and oceans. All of this stuff is plastic. And this is where the problem is. So what do we do? Well, in Northern California, there's this environmental group. They're called the Pacific Beach Coalition. Now, the Pacific Beach Coalition noticed a dramatic increase of PPE on the beaches in California. You know, for 25 years, this coalition has been doing monthly beach cleanups in San Francisco. And during these cleanups, volunteers will keep track of what they uh, pick up, what kind of trash they pick up. Now, until this year, the number one thing that this coalition would find on the beach is cigarettes, and food wrappers. But now that's changed. Now, masks, gloves, hand wipes, and other plastic PPE are being found on the beaches. Lynn Adams, the president of the coalition, she says, quote, they're in my neighborhood. They're in my streets. They're everywhere. What can we do? End quote. Well, one thing that people can do, especially with a mask, is cut the strings before you throw it away. This will help animals from being cut, uh, stuck in them, tangled in them. Um, you see, there's this guy named Adam Ratner. And Adam Ratner is a conservation educator at the Marine Mammal Center. Now, conservation, uh, that's the act of protecting something. And he works at the Marine Mammal Center, uh, which rescues and rehabilitates mammals. Then it does research and then educates the people about marine animals. Marine mammals are ones that live in the ocean. Like, for example, a whale is a marine mammal. A dolphin is a marine mammal. Seals, manatees, sea otters, polar bears. Well, PPE is really affecting these marine mammals. You see, a smaller animal, um, like maybe a sea otter, could get trapped in the PPE. A larger animal could mistake it for food. They could swallow it, and then it could get stuck uh, in their stomach or it could get into the food chain of the ocean. You know, a food chain is when organized organisms, uh, it's where they get their food and their energy. Uh, for example, uh, a whale eats a fish, and then a bigger whale eats the smaller whale. Something uh, keeps going on and passing along. Well, Adam Ratner, uh, the man from the Marine Mammal Center, he says that PPE is a critical problem. But it's increasing increased, it's causing increased amounts of plastic into the ocean. He says it can be a really big threat to marine mammals and all marine life. Quote, we want to keep ourselves safe, but we also want to keep the rest of the environment safe. End quote. This is a quote from Sophia Wohl. Sophia Wohl volunteers at the beach cleanups in California. She says, we are not doing that right now. We're just leaving them on the ground. Well, this group and other groups are calling attention to this issue, but they say what's recorded is likely only a fraction of what's actually going into the ocean. They think they're only catching a little bit, and there's a large amount of this stuff going unnoticed being dumped into the oceans. Last year, there was a report by a group called Ocean Asia. They found 1.6 billion masks would flood into the oceans in 2020. That was their guess. 1.6 billion. They based this report on the global production and other factors. They said these masks in the ocean could stay there for 450 years. So this is a big problem we have to find a solution to.